everybody, it's Jay, and I have tonight a dugout crate from the dugoutcrate.com. I have not done this product before. Uh, I used to do the cardcrate.com, uh, which was a really fun product that gave you just a bunch of random packs um, every month uh, with some supplies as well. Uh, but I checked that out recently and they were sold out, and I think they said that they're not making as many each month, so it's going to be a lot harder to get that product. So I'm going to be checking out some different ones, seeing which one I like the best. Uh, this one, like I said, Dugout Crate. This is a $50, and there's a $99 one. Uh, $50 one, you get packs, a bunch of random stuff, and I think you're guaranteed two hits. They'll give you like a relic card and an autograph card um, automatically without even getting into the packs. And then mainly hobby packs, I believe. So I already cut the tape, but I haven't opened it yet. Um, the only thing I've seen is other videos, but those were about a year old, so I don't know if it's going to be the same type of stuff. So it's got a really sweet box, uh, as you can see. The box has a bunch of different, like, card, um, kind of like hobby boxes printed all over the top, so that's pretty sweet. I'm going to take this and move it back, and then we're going to see what we got. So right off the bat, we got some of these, like, jumbo cards. Uh, we got a Pete Rose. That's a pretty sweet looking card. And a Nolan Ryan. Actually, Nolan Ryan's one of my favorite players, so that's pretty awesome. Um, there you go. There's the old... What is this from? It's a 1986 design for these jumbo cards. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Set them off to the side. Uh, MLB 3D Stars trading cards. That's pretty sweet. So there's an Alfonso Soriano, kind of like a little paper cutout. And then 3D Stars by Fleer. And there's four 3D cards inside. I am not uh, going to bust that open right now. I'll probably do that another time. Right now I just kind of want to see what's in this and then maybe do the packs. So I've seen these in all of them before. These are called the Cubies. Um, it's like a little stamper. Again, I'm probably just going to leave this in the pack. Uh, for now, I might open it later to see who I have, but for now, I'm just going to set it off to the side. Oh, yeah, okay. So I've seen these before. <laughs> this is the uh, pinnacle card in a can, pretty much. And I believe, is that Ken Caminetti on the front? <laughs> That's an old player. So you get 10 cards per can. So you got to bust this thing open with like an actual can opener. Uh, to get the cards out. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that right now. And again, I may leave this in there uh, just kind of as a cool little novelty item. Uh, might be something that will be worth more down the line if I leave it in the can. This looks like this is from 97, so this is already like 21 years old. <laughs> so, first baseball card ever in a can. Okay, so yeah, I've seen this in some of the other ones. It's a cool little product. Here's our packs. I'm going to bust into those in one second. Let me see what else we got here. Okay. So this, I believe, is our hits. Let me just check. That's it. So that's it. That's everything. I'm going to slide that back. Um, the card crate that I used to do was a $30 product, and you would get the packs, and you would kind of hope for the best, see if you got a hit or not. So for this one, um, it's $50. But like I said, you're pretty much guaranteed at least two hits without even getting into the packs. Um, so, you know, as long as they're even relatively decent hits, you know, a decent relic and a decent auto, um, you're probably going to get about $20 worth of value right in this bag. Which, when you think about it, if you get $20 of value from the guaranteed hits, it's almost the same, $30. Um, for the rest of this stuff. So it seems like this is a pretty good value. I am going to probably check out a few other products to see what they're like, but this looks like a pretty sweet value. Um, let's go ahead and tear this open. I want to see what my two hits are. I think you can open this like that. We don't actually have to tear it. Yeah, all right. So let's see what we got for my two hits. I feel pretty heavy. So I have a Robin Yount. That's actually from 2008 Triple Threads. 
I have a box of 2018 triple threads I just got today. I'm going to be busting that open tomorrow. So there you go. That's numbered four out of 500. It's a Robin Yount. Just a small little jersey piece there. Nothing too great, but uh, a really cool player. One of the older guys. Been retired for a while. It's actually a pretty sweet card. And then we have a sunny gray, and that's actually Topps Archives. That's in a sealed Topps Archive uh, magnetic case, I guess. That's 88 out of 94. It's a sunny gray auto. And that's his rookie card. That's actually pretty sweet. He did not have a very good year. I think he was with the Yankees. I don't think he had a great year this year, but he is a really uh, well-respected pitcher. So that's a pretty sweet auto. So there you go. Tops Archives. What, what, what year was this? 2017, so last year. Not bad. That's actually a really nice card. I like that a lot. So here we go. We get these two hits right off the bat. And we didn't even have to get into the packs. Let me throw this out real quick. There you go. There's our Sunny Gray. And there's our Robin Younts. So those were guaranteed hits right there. Uh, so like I said, you're going to get two every time. One auto and one relic. And I think that's a pretty sweet deal. Um, because you're, you're guaranteed to get some value. And here's what we all came for. Oh, excuse me. Here's what we all came for. Here's the packs. So let's see what we're working with. So it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 packs. Uh, I think they're supposed to be mostly hobby packs. Um... I'm not a hundred percent sure they were before at least mostly hobby but again that was about a year ago so I don't know I don't really see I don't see the hobby H anywhere on here so this might be retail 2017 Allen and Ginter again I don't see the hobby pack logo so maybe that is retail there's 2018 Bowman that's nice Javier Baez, Prism, four cards per pack, 2015. So this one does say Hobby, right? Pinnacle. Two of those, they both say Hobby. Uh, we got Panini Golden Age. We've got a Don Russ. What was that, 2016? All right. We got the Babe Ruth Collection. I've seen a few of these cards. And Panini Prism, uh, not much on this one. I don't know what this is. Maybe like a special pack that you get for buying boxes or something. Um, all right. So we're kind of pretty much just, you know what? We're just going to kind of work backwards because the better uh, packs are on the top. So let's just bust this thing open first because I don't even know exactly what this is. George Springer. Oh, nice. Matt Caesar, rookie card. And a Justin Upton rookie. Yeah, so this must be like a special pack that you get. Because um, they have like the, the really crazy, you know, design on there. Alright, well that was a cool little, cool little pack. I'll just start setting these off to the side. I'll probably make a mess. I'll worry about that later. Uh, here's the Babe Ruth cards. I've seen these before as well. Actually, I might have some of these already. Let's see what we got. There you go. Babe Ruth, career achievements, Babe Ruth. There it is. Just a cool little pack of cards celebrating one of the best to put, ever play the game. All right, here's the 2016 Donruss, and it's looking like these are vast majority retail. So I'm not sure what happened with that, because I, 
I was pretty sure they were vast majority hobby packs in most of the videos that I watched. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, someone can let me know, but these are looking to be mainly retail packs, which is not that great. Do have a dummy card. All right, so we got a D. Gordon, Troy Tulowitzki. We have got a Michael Taylor, Rosny Castillo. There's the dummy card. I keep those, though, in case I have to use them for shipping. Nice Odubo Herrera Diamond Kings. And a Dallas Keuchel. All right, so here we go. Panini Golden Age. I've seen this before, too. I think you can get some weird stuff in here. I'm not sure if it's the product I'm thinking of, but if it is, it might not all be baseball. It could be a bunch of different stuff. So we've got a Lefty Grove, Davy Lopes, maybe Lopez. Got a nice mini here of Veda Pinson or Vada Pinson. Uh, what's that on the back? Nice little cigarette card. Got a Bob Lemon. Yeah, see, like Marta Kristen. Don't really know who that is. But I don't think she was a, be a baseball player. And Butch Patrick. Put the mini right there. All right, we're going to keep moving along. So these are hobby packs right here. This is 2013, I believe. Yep. 2013 Pinnacle. Both of these packs are hobby packs. Josh Willingham, Mark Trumbo, Dustin Pedroia, Gio Gonzalez. That's a cool looking card. Team Pinnacle, Bo Jackson. And it's got like, it's hard to see, but it's like a real shiny kind of rainbow effect on there. Oop, bumped the camera there. And it says Bryce Harper on the back. Uh, that's a little bit odd. Team Pinnacle. Bryce Harper, Washington on one side, and Bo Jackson, Kansas City on the other. Uh, that's weird, but okay. I'll keep that one over here. I have to look into that. Matt Holliday, Jacob Turner, Adam Eaton. That's a rookie card. There's the back of these. I think everyone's probably seen these before. People use 2013 Pinnacle a lot and kind of like their the card crates and stuff like that. All right, here we go. One more pack of that. If I can get it open, there we go. Let me get this one out of the way. All right. Here we go. Excuse me real quick there. We have Jose Reyes, Jared Weaver, Aaron Hicks rookie card, Justin Grimm rookie, Awaiting the Call, Jack Morris. Cool card. Don't think that's numbered. That's an insert, I believe. Yep. We have got a Jason Hayward. Josh Willingham again, and a Lance Berkman. All right, moving right along. This is Prism, 2015. Wouldn't mind getting a Javier Baez. He's a finalist for the MVP for this year. He's probably going to go to Christian Yelich, but Javier Baez, like I said, was a finalist. So we've got Alex Wood, Evan Longoria, it's a nice Miguel Cabrera, what is that, Pas Passion, what does that say, not quite sure, but it's a sweet insert, and then we got a Mark McGuire. Alright folks, 2018 Bowman. Uh, I don't see the H for Hobby Pack, but that does not mean I'm not going to be looking for an Otani or an Akuna or a Soto. I don't know if Soto is in this product or not, but we got some big names to look for, so let's see what we can get. Chris Archer, Nicky Delmonico, Francisco Lindor. It's kind of an odd looking logo there, but anyway. Yon Moncada, Willie Calhoun, 
Got a CJ Chatham Chrome. Cornelius Randolph. Nice. That's a Gleyber Torres Chrome. That's a good card. Sweet. Sam Howard and a Drew Ellis. Let's put the Chrome cards over here. All right, this is 2017, Allen and Ginter. I'm not a huge fan of Allen and Ginter, actually, because I think some of the cards they put in there, you know, the nonsensical ones, are kind of weird. But looks like there's a bit of a thick card in there. I don't know that. Or no, no, they're just stuck together, maybe. We'll see. We'll find out. There's a uh, Abreu. Is that Jose Abreu? It is. Uh, for instance, the facsimile machine. That's kind of weird to me. But some people really like that stuff. So, uh, okay, we have a little mini of, was that Tyler Naquin? Oh, and it's an Allen and Ginter back. So that's a little bit rare. We'll take that. Oh, well, look at that. We got a Nolan Arenado memorabilia, game used memorabilia. Nice relic. There's a Billy Hamilton. Well, that's cool. All right. So we got a little extra hit. Our first hit from the packs. Again, I don't think this was a hobby pack. I think it was just retail, but still. Nice little jersey piece from Nolan Arenado. Take that any day of the week. I do love Gypsy Queen. This is the last pack. Again, looking like retail. But let's find out what we can get in this. This was one of my favorites. Each year, I'm a big fan of Gypsy Queen. I like the design. So we've got a Jacques Peterson, Stephen Piscotti, Ken Giles, Matt Moore, Young Harris Salarte, and an Adonis Garcia. And then they have some different variations, possibly. But I'll take a closer look afterwards. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, that's it for the dugout crate, I believe it's called. Let me make sure. Pull it back over here. Yeah. So the dugout crate, not bad. Again, the fact that you get two guaranteed hits is actually pretty sweet. Um, I am a little bit bummed that it was mainly retail packs. I don't recall that being the case. Um, maybe in the $99 one, they have hobby packs. I'm not sure. Um, I think they also give you more hits guaranteed in the hobby packs. But for what I paid, uh, we got a bunch of extra stuff, you know, kind of the cards in the can and the, the 3D cards, the little QB stuff. You know, that's that's just cool stuff to have around, you know, baseball-related uh, products. And then we had the two hits, uh, which were actually not bad. And even though the packs were mainly retail, we ended up pulling a nice little Arenado relic. So overall, not bad. Um, you know, I'll leave it up to you if you think that what you've gotten here or what I got here was a $50 value. But uh, let me know at what you guys think or if you guys have gotten any major hits out of the dugout crate. And I will catch you next time. See you later.